I am glad you could take a moment and stop with me as we pray tonight. We're starting a journey through the Gospel of Mark, and so we begin at the beginning. Chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. The beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, God's Son, happened just as it was written about in the prophecy of Isaiah. Look, I am sending my messenger before you. He will prepare your way. A voice shouting in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make God's path straight. I invite you to close your eyes. And settle in. I want you to keep those words on your mind. The beginning of the good news. The beginning of the good news. The beginning of the good news. Holy One, we stop here and wonder about the good news, about the beginning of that news, about a messenger who comes, tells us to prepare the way. And yet we know we haven't listened. We haven't listened to that messenger. But the thing about this story is it invites us to start again anew every time we read it, to go back to the beginning, the beginning of the good news. And so God, today we're going to pray for those places and people that need to hear the good news, that need to be receptive to the good news. God, we pray for your earth. There has been so much screaming out to us that we are in crisis here on earth. The heat waves that are ravaging places that have never been so hot. We pray for those places. We pray for the Arctic. We pray for Canada. We pray for those places where they are not prepared for heat. And we pray for those places that have become so dry, so dry that wildfires are raging. We pray for those places where the ocean is being harmed, where chemical spills have happened, where we've seen the ocean burning with fire. We pray for your poor oceans, where plastic is rampant, where fish are dying, where coral reefs are disappearing. God, we ask that your good news come to the people that can make a difference. Please shake up our corporations, our business leaders, our governments to bring about change, real change change that brings the good news. Holy One, we pray today for those places and people that are hurting, that are struggling with opioid addiction, that are struggling with illness, for those places and people where COVID-19 is running rampant. We pray for those who need your care your healing touch. May you bring the good news to them. May you push the people who have the ability to bring vaccines to the unvaccinated. Give them the will to make a difference. And oh God, we pray for your people who are struggling with violence right now struggling with gun violence and the death that those guns lead to. We pray for your people that are surrounded by governments that are more concerned with their power 
and with the health and welfare of their people to those places suffering from violence right now. Bring your good news. And God, we ask you to bring the good news to our families and friends, to those places where they are hurting and struggling in need of your straight path, your good news. May our family and friends experience your love, your forgiveness. May they experience the power of your presence. May they hear the good news. Amen.